Hello and welcome to another Franchise Hockey Manager stream. My name is Adam. I am the Community Manager of Franchise Hockey. With me as always and not pictured on your screen is FHM producer Jeff. Say hi, Jeff. Hey, everybody. And we are back with jetting back to 91, the Winnipeg Jets 91-92 season continued. And I named this episode Strength in Numbers. Jeff, I finally feel like we have a team that might be able to compete this year, although we're still struggling against the powerhouse that is the Calgary Flames. Yeah, well, you're nine five and three so far, so decent start to the season. But I mean, the Flames are only barely over five hundred, and they weren't that great last year. But they got lucky in the playoffs, so they've got three cups in a row now. So uh, good. I messed up the sound, so you disappeared for half a second there. <laughs> it's all right though. Um, yeah. So we made a number of teams as we're staring here at the depth chart. If you haven't tuned in or didn't tune into last week's episode, uh, most notably, we switched up our goaltending. Grant Fear is gone. Was that last episode or two episodes ago now? That was last time. Yeah, so Grant Fear is gone. For him, we brought in Alexander Mogilny. And so he's already improved. Uh, we also added Mark Howe on the blue line. And yeah, we have a lot of rookies who are turning into players for us, which is kind of what we're looking for. Um. Yeah, we brought in some strength in our previous draft classes. We brought in, uh, yeah, Kirk Maltby to come with Chris Draper, so we'll have some penalty-killing guys. We don't have a second-round pick this next year. We re-added Gee Bear in the waiver draft to be our backup goaltender, so Rick Tabaraki can keep developing. Uh, uh, I was actually just looking at the uh, prospect rankings in the game. You're second overall now. Oh, really? All right, I'm going to check that out. Just behind Montreal. NHL prospect rankings. Sweet. Zuboff, Stumple, Draper, Barnes, and Kristovich, who's actually been in the news in real life as of late. Yep. Uh, I guess, did he join the Army, or was he... Yeah, 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 he joined the Army in the Ukraine. Yes. Ukraine. Yeah, so taking a quick look here. I guess we can see it here. Zuboff's 9, Stumple's 23, Draper's 32, Barnes 36. So yeah, we have some has some pretty nice depth there. <laughs> Montreal, as good as they are, Pat Falloon being their number two prospect. Well, that's interesting. Uh, in the chat already, in our, we're streaming live on twitch.tv slash franchise hockey manager, as well as twitch.tv slash OOTP developments. Sharpie58 in our OOTP developments chat already wants to know, Jeff, do you think the Canucks will be buyers or sellers at the trade deadline in real life? I think they still have to be sellers. I mean, they've been doing so well lately, but uh, particularly since Woodrow took over, but you're say it's still a outside chance to make it into the playoffs. And uh, even if, you know, even if we did get into the playoffs, we're not, it's incredibly unlikely that we're going to go anywhere. Yeah. Okay. So, so just making a yeah, few okay. changes here. Oh, man. Uh, Two-thirds of our number one line are out for a while. Yeah, do you need to call anybody up? Uh, you got N Not at the moment, but we're yeah, getting... Yeah, suspended and uh, with Solani uh, out for a couple of weeks, too. Yeah, actually, I guess maybe I should call someone up. So we need to bring up... Bring up Zamnoff, I guess. Or C Oh, man. Cigar dropped down to just one star? That's disappointing. Yeah, that's... Surprising uh, Jamnov, I think, is the guy to bring up. Yeah. Or Draper. No, jamnov has got the extra half star. Yep. Okay, so I'll bring up Zamnov to come sit on the bench. Um, all right, we're probably going to have to redo lines here because we can't have poor Dale Howard truck all by himself. So we're going to un-get that. We're going to take Mogilny off because he might get the promotion. And... What? McKinney got moved down to the third line. Absolutely not. All right. Uh, okay. We got to change tactics for Kristovich as well. Because I doubt Screener is going to be his best, but maybe it will be. No. Okay. We got... 
What do you think, Jeff? Counterattacking forward for Kristovich? He's kind of good at a lot of different things. Yeah, that's probably okay. And checking back our lines. And Sharpie58 says, and your Jets. My Jets are the most confusing team in the league, so I'm not sure what to say. They probably should be selling a couple guys, but at the same time, they just handily beat down Tampa Bay in real life. So playing against the Kings here in the game and we submit out and we, oh boy, we get stomped. No, wait, we do the stomping. Woohoo, 10-1 over LA. Oh, look at this. Kristovich comes in and gets two shorthanded goals in the same power play. Seven goals in the first period. Kings get the first one. You get seven unanswered ones after that. Yeah. Kaminsky oh, that's the second period. period. Yeah. That's the second period. Look at that. Two goal, two shorthanded goals. All right. Beauty. 43 seconds apart, too. Yeah. All right. Good for us. Uh, yeah. I mean, they probably should get rid of, like, Stasny. I'd still kind of like to see... And Andrew Cop stay, but at the same time, I don't think they can um, afford to keep him. They should probably move Eric Comrie just so they can reacquire him next year. Uh, I mean, Comrie would probably not worth enough to move, but I I get, understand your joke. Although I kind of hope Mikael Burden's going to get a chance too. I don't know. The Jets are a very, very confusing team. That's about the only way to describe it. Uh, good news is Teppo Newman's close to coming back. Uh, we have a trade. Oilers and Sabres. Kevin Lowe was traded to Buffalo, as well as the rights to Randy Exelby, an unsigned goaltender, for Mike Foligno and Christoph Sender. Not a great deal for the Oilers. No, not particularly. I guess they need, well, they know, need some more offense. Much done at this point, if I remember right. Yeah. And 4-2 loss to St. Louis. Darn. Dave Lowry, current uh, head coach of the Winnipeg Jets, is the number one star. We have uh, Alexander Mogilny has two assists. Guy Lafleur gets his fourth goal of the year. But we give up three straight to lose it after leading 2-1. Dwayne Sutter is on waivers. Age 31. I don't think he's going to add a lot to our team, so I don't think we're going to do that. But But we're actually creeping up on the top five in all-time scoring. Uh, It's only about 40 points back to Stan Mikita now. Sweet. Uh, Brian Benning is getting trade rumors. Game versus New Jersey. Okay, we're going to put Geehee Bear in for this one. Five nothing win over New Jersey. Alexander Mogilny, number one star, four assists. Apparently, he's got a grudge against New Jersey for some reason. Olofsson scores the first two. Then Elnick. Oh, five nothing. Did I say that? Four assists, I guess, yeah. Pat Flatley, and then, yeah, Thomas Dean scores. Another shorthanded goal. All right, got to like when the special teams works. And Timo Solani's ready to return to practice. Also good. Game versus Philadelphia. Not going to change anything other than Hasek is now in net. Simming out, and we lose. Darn. No, we don't lose. Sorry. 3-3 tie. Can't quite... Was reading it wrong. Alexander Mogilny scores. Ellett scores. Merchment scores. I mentioned that we're uh, playing with a uh, test version of the uh, next update. Uh, doesn't have everything in that we're going to be adding, but uh, just a few things we want to check. Uh, yes. One thing I can show you. Can you go to the uh, annual finances screen for a sec, Adam? Just give me one second, because Teppo Newmanen just came back, so i got to redo this. Marchment. Gets replaced with Newman. Guserif gets replaced with Marchment. Okay, so we're going to send 
It was out one to two months. It said four weeks, but oh, I don't want to put him on waivers. No, 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 no. Injured list. Okay, sorry. Finances, you said, Jeff. Because we're showing off one of the new features coming in the next update, which will be about. Yeah, just I'm not a huge thing. Somebody suggested this on the forum, and, or no, I think it was on Reddit actually, and mentioned it. It was a little too hard to get uh, the new arena built, particularly because mainly because the owner kept taking money out at the end of the year. So if you see uh, down under new arena construction, third thing from the bottom in the middle column, we've added funding from owner, which is the. Every time they take uh, profits out at the end of the year, uh, it, it won't have happened this time because Adam uh, hit that point before we updated the game. But it will put a chunk of that into this, uh, basically, uh, savings account for a new arena. It's not, it won't be, the, won't be most of it, but it'll be, it, well, it depends on the individual owner, how much they're willing to give you. But, uh, so you're not, if you, when they do the profit taking at the end of the year, you're not necessarily losing all of that. Some of that can get put back towards new arena. So it should be a little more practical to build one now. It won't take you. It'll still take you a while, but it won't take you forever. Yeah. Yes. Cool. And all right. Going to continue on here. We own the Islanders last year. I don't remember. We still own them earlier this year. Can we continue the trend? And yes, we beat them 5-1. Guy Lafleur, number two star goal and two assists, picks up a power play goal. Mogilny, Howarchuk, Howarchuk, Howarchuk with a natural hack, hat trick, ending with a short-handed goal in the second Gilney's period. been pretty hot. Perfect. All right, let's take a look at the stats here because I'm really curious. How are we doing so far? So that's going to our roster and then using the drop down. Howarchuk has 34 points in 22 games. Shanahan has 21 points in 16 games. Mogilny has 19 points in 22 games. So he's coming on. And he only, like uh, when we started this, he had seven points in 17 games. So he's had most of that in the last week or so. Yeah. Shanahan should actually be back here soon. Yeah, he's back from there. Oh, and we just, we just lost Pat Elnick now for five days. Well, only five days at least. Yeah, it's easy. Okay, Shanahan's back. Thank goodness. All right. Well, okay, he's not even hurt. He just has a forearm cramp. All right. Um, so who's coming out then? Kristovich is playing so well, I feel like we should probably take Dan Hudson out. Yeah. Hodgson, actually, if you look at the uh, advanced stats, the first one, and I may, may have changed in the last few games, but if you start by relative Fenwick... Right at the bottom, yeah. Negative like by 12. A huge margin. Yeah. Ooh. Well, Kristovich is actually down there too, at <laughs> negative 7.85. Ooh. Yeah, but I mean, double digits, uh, that's pretty god awful. Yeah. Oh, Peter Stasny is not having a great year. Only one assist in 19 games. You've had him on the fourth line mostly, haven't you? I th think so. All right, so let's get back to our lineups here. Um, I'm just going to go. So this is create lines. Okay, so Shanahan's back on this first line. Okay, right. We're going to put Barnes back as the third line center. Ah, you know what? We're going to do this. All right. Um, yeah, okay. Shanahan's back locked in on that second line. Okay, like it. All right, continuing on here. Uh, uh, game versus Edmonton. He bears actually warmed up versus Hasek, who hasn't. All right, let's give He Bear the start. We'll see. Versus Edmonton. Probably a mistake, but you never know. And we lose 7-2, so yep, big mistake. They score five straight goals before Howard Chick gets us on the board on the power play. 
and then go up Bears seven. Aren't doing one. too badly this year. They're they haven't done they haven't really done other than while well, getting rid of low, but uh, they haven't done the big sell off of the uh, dynasty era players that happened in real life. Yeah, boy. Messier's still there. Anderson's still there. Curry's still there. And yeah, Fuhrer is gone because they traded him to us, but uh, Ranford's. <laughs> San Jose's coach doesn't even make it through the first season, gets fired after going 1 and 23. Wow. And they hired, <laughs> they hired Mike Smith <laughs> to be the head coach. Okay, well, uh, do you have any Russians he signs? They haven't got any at all at this point, it looks like. All right. Well, good. F one less worry for us. All right. Um, all right. Hasek in versus the defending back to back Stanley Cup champions, Calgary. And we actually pick up a 5 3 win. All right. Oh, Mr. Howe gets two assists and is the, or one goal, one assist, two points for the number three star. And Mogilny, three assists again. Mogilny is. Calgary just barely at 500. Mark Howe's doing well. Guy Lafleur's doing more. Howard Chuck continues to just get points. McGillney's well, 19 curious. assists. I was wonder how Housley's doing. No. Well. What? McGillney well, got hurt. Okay, it's sore Achilles tendon. I thought it said torn Achilles tendon. My heart couldn't take that. All right, so how close are we to returning Solani's day-to-day? -day. Randy Cunnyworth is, yeah, still out for a long time. Yeah, we lost him to a torn back muscle, which is hurting. Oh, man. You know, I think Mogilny out, I'm going to give Zamanoff a game. What's, does Zamanoff have... He has a playmaker. That's a good role for him. Yep. All right. Game versus the Rangers. Come on. Hasek. And we lose 3-1. Well, he didn't do too badly. He just uh, didn't get any scoring. Oh, okay. Well, here's the difference. 60 penalty minutes for us. Ouch. <laughs> well, probably few misconducts in there. Yeah, Shanahan fought Tony Granado in the first. And then Brian Marchment fought. Uh, Chris Ditch, illegal check to the head, five yep. major. Yeah, Alan Carr. All right. And Zamner fought Randy Carlisle, who also got a 10 minute misconduct. <laughs> All right. Wow, entertaining fighting game. Oh, man. Kristovich got suspended now. Oh. All right. So let's take a look here because Kristovich is out. Mogilny's still hurt. So that means Hudson draws back in for Kristovich. All right. Top selling Winnipeg Jets jersey, Howard Check, LaFleur, Thomas Steen, Mark Howe, and Frederick Olofsson. Wow, Mogoni can't even get there? Come on. But he's ready to resume contact, contact which is good. Solani's getting close. Development report. Chris Draper. All right. Gets a little stronger. Kirk Maltby goes up two points. Nice. Christian Oliwa. Up in three different categories. I like it. Tabaraki gets better at rebounding. Zuboff increases a couple more stats. Like it, like it. Adriana Coin. Nice. Excuse me. And Kihi Bear goes up. Hasek goes up. Kaminsky goes up. He's going down now. Too bad. Thomas Steen. Huh? Gusera. Dropping two stats. That's not good. 
Yeah, surprised he said a dummy. We actually lasted quite a while in real life, I think, like past 2000. <laughs> Top goalie was Grant Fear of Buffalo, 17-6-1. Well, good for Grant Fear. Our monthly budget, we are trying to bank some points because at some point Winnipeg is going to need a new arena. And we increased our ticket prices, which ticked off our fan base. Um, kind of interesting, not making that Housley for Fuhr deal has made both teams better. Yeah. Well, I mean, we've also accentuated our team quite a bit. We don't really need any game promotions. We're doing okay I mean, on morale. Buffalo was actually under 500 this season in real life, and Winnipeg was, I think, just barely above it. And now we got both teams winning because they didn't uh, make that trade. Yeah, but we also have Solani two years earlier, or a year yeah. This is the second year. All right, we're going to put Hebert in for this game versus Chicago. And we actually pick up a 7-3 victory over Chicago. We score four goals before they get on the board. Nice. We put up 46 shots to their 27. We're not hitting a lot, though. All right. And Dave Ellett got hurt for four days. Come on, guys. Stop getting hurt. All right. Board confidence update. Barry Schenker thinks the season has proceeded promisingly so far. Confirms with our 7-4-1 record, and he is very satisfied with our work. All right. Solani's close. McGillney's close to returning. Solani is officially back. All right, which means we're going to have too many players on our... Oh, no, we are still... Okay, we don't have too many players on our active roster. Sweet. Okay, so we'll have to redo the lines here for the next game. Let's advance one more day. And, okay, Mogilny is also back. So let's see now. Zamnov comes out. Mogilny comes in. Hodson comes out. And Solani comes in. All right, Solani's moving back to the first line, getting locked in. Putting Mogilny back on the second line. Am I missing someone? Uh, I only have 19 players dressed. Okay. You didn't dress Hodgson? Yeah, I undressed him. You understand him on the Jamnov, I guess? Was it? Yeah, all right. We'll put Hodgson back in. All right. Wait a second. Where is the other Stastny brother? Fourth line center? I see him. Where's the other one? Oh, Peter? Uh, he's dressed. Where is he? That's what I'm looking, trying to figure out. I don't see him. Where did he go? Is he hurt? Did I? No, he's not hurt. Oh, you have 13 forwards dressed and uh, five defense, I think. Okay, that'll do it. Okay, hold on. Sorry, give me one second. Okay, sorry about that. Um, okay, so I have 13 forwards dressed. Okay, so I was supposed to have Hudson out, okay? So we have Elliot Hurt, so we need to call up a defenseman then. Gotta be Zubov. And I gotta send Zamnov down. 
And yeah, so Zuboff comes up. He's actually ranked higher on our depth chart, but I wanted him to keep developing if he's not going to play. All right, so let's do that. All right, there we go. There's the other stats, new brother. And all right, I'm going to change these ice times slightly too. And game versus Buffalo. And our full former goaltender. And 5-2 loss. Mark House goes first, but then we give up five straight goals. And they didn't even play fear against us. No. Frederick Chavot was in. That's disappointing. All right. Dave Ellett, it will be back soon. Okay. Well, we need him back sooner rather than later. And game versus Edmonton here. Uh, you know what? We're going to just play this game out. We'll see what happens here. All right. Unsportsmanlike conduct. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Our check racing down. Takes a shot from center ice and score, or not from center ice, from the middle of the ice and scores. Nicely done. Our check assisted by Sonny and Frederick Olsen. Like it. You'll say the mascot looks like Rover. Ben and the Jets. Oh, Sonny with some good board play and scores. Nicely done, Solani. Our check and Marchman in on it. 2 nothing. Oh, no. We're going to give one up. Oh, look. Steen steals. Gets to Lafleur. Lafleur gets it to McGillney. McGillney all by himself. He scores! Nicely done. Lafleur picks up an assist as well as Frederick Olsen. All right. All right. 3 nothing at the end of the first. Pretty quick playing second period. All right, Peter Stastny doesn't know his role, so maybe we'll have to look at that. All right, Edmonton playing around in their zone. Lafleur steals, gets it to McGillney, McGillney to Steen, Steen with the easy backdoor goal. All right. Outline, our second line seems to be clicking pretty good. Face off, one. Lafleur brings it across the blue line, finds McGillney in the middle of the ice. McGillney back to Steen, Steen to Lafleur, Lafleur to Olsen. Back, back, forth, back, forth. And shot scores from the point. Frederick Olsen, assisted by Thomas Dean and Guy Lafleur, 5 nothing, And that's all she wrote. That was a pretty strong game. Second line was dominant. Yep, particularly over Edmonton. All right, Dmitry Kristovich is back from suspension. Dave Ellett is back at the ready. All right, so let's take a look here right now, then. We have... Ellett's going to come back in for Zuboff. All right, I'm going to send... I'm going to send Zuboff back down so he keeps, keeps playing. And the other option would be Marchman. Yeah, but if Marchman is our seventh defenseman, then I kind of 
kind of want to keep him around right now. Kristovich, we don't really have a need to take him, put him in the lineup as our lineup's playing pretty good. Stu Barnes is maybe struggling a little bit. Well, his game rating's 59. That's not that, or 58. That's not that bad. Not that good. All right. Uh, tactics. Which one? It was, yeah, Peter. Was having a tough time with his. Playmaker wasn't really fitting him, so should we change him to, like, Garbage Collector? Actually, no, that's actually his top-rated a... one. That, you shouldn't be getting that message if it's, uh, that's his best uh, role. I'm going to change him to Counter-Attack and look at that, something's wrong there. And see if that helps him out. Anyways, for the fourth line. All right. Game versus Washington. Olaf Kolzig. We win 3 nothing over Washington. Hasek with the have. shutout. Boom. He must be pretty hot at this point. Hasek? Yeah. He hadn't been hot. Stu Barnes picks up his second yeah, goal of the year. Two shutouts. Well, yeah, I guess maybe that finally would get him a little warm. We'll have to check it out. All right, game versus San Jose. Yes, he is two heat now. Can we beat up on San Jose? Man, if we lose this one, I don't know what. All right. 4-3 <laughs> victory. <laughs> Tima Solani with the first two goals. Shanahan picks up the third, and Kaminsky gets a shorthanded oh, one. To start I shoot them by a massive amount. Fifty-three still, to twenty, yeah. But we still gave one up goal against a team that's like what one and thirty or something. Yes, one and thirty for two points on the year. Only Kolzig, Sincon eighty-nine says, yeah, that was a great name. Actually, bought a more bunch, bought a bunch more hockey cards as of late. Jeff, flipping through them all. A recent. Within the last week, or you mean like oh, in I mean, terms of like year? <laughs> years? Obviously, within the last week. Well, I'm just saying. Ah, uh, oh, we lose four six to the Kings. Gretzky had four points. Um, yeah, what years? Well, there was some cards back to the '80s to some up to like a year ago. Oh. Like. Uh, I grabbed a bunch of ones. Actually, it was the, the most amount of Winnipeg Jets ones I had got, have opened in a long time. And on the back-to-back, -back, we actually beat the Oilers. Stu Barnes gets a unassisted goal for his third of the year. Nicely done. And he picks up an assist. He's the number one star. Good job, Stu Barnes. All right. Okay, good. In division now first. No, no, still one back. Game versus Calgary here. Going to sim this one too. We'll take a look at the standings after today and we lose 5-4. We're playing Calgary tough. We just, it's very back and forth. Looks like they're starting to improve a little too. Sekai in 89 says, man, these names take me back. Yes, me too. Me too. Okay, well, here's a here's a storyline we don't see very often. Edmonton Oilers head coach John Muckler hurt during pregame skate. Edmonton head coach John Muckler was forced to make a yeah, trip a to the, the hospital after an errant puck to his head during practice. While standing on the opposite bench, right wing Norm... Lacombe attempted a saucer pass to his teammate, only it sailed right by and caught the inattentive coach in the right ear. Muckler wound up being taken to a local hospital to be observed for symptoms of a concussion. And if Muck you ever saw Norm Lacombe play, that's entirely believable. <laughs> Muckler is expected to 
be fully ready for the team's next game as all tests for a concussion came back negative. When reached for a comment, the Edmonton Oilers bench boss saw some humor in the situation. Look, I've been telling him to have confidence in his passing all year and to stop soft tossing the puck, he said. It's too bad his saucer of the year was at me and not his teammate, but at least he's listening. Yeah, I think that might be the first time we've seen that one on stream. Pretty sure. There is some, yeah, there is some rare storylines, so that's pretty funny. All right, Gustero's almost ready. Brian Marchman was hurt. Okay, well, good to know he's back. All right, game versus Vancouver. So, Jeff, are you going to force us to lose this game? Yeah, because I have control over that. You heard it here first, folks. Oh, no, we won 2-1. We gave up the first goal, but then Guy Lafleur comes through again. Sixth of the season, not scoring quite at the pace he was. All right, Guseroff is now back. So are we putting Guseroff in for Marchment? I guess we are. Huh? Or should we leave Marchment? I'll leave Marchment in for a while. Doing pretty well. We had those two shutouts with him playing. We did. We did. Oh, man. We have slipped in the standings there a bit, which is maybe not slipped. Uh, we're only one point behind, I guess. 19, 11, and 4, and the team's ahead of us are 29 and 3 and 20, 12 and 3. So. Howard Chuck's top six in points. Wow. Howard Chuck's got 52. Gretzky has 80. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Pretty typical for late 80s, early 90s. Lemieux and Gretzky are one two punch. Points ahead of everybody else. Ooh. Hasek with a big save. One nothing victory over Calgary. Randy Carlisle is the only goal scorer. Just exactly who you would expect. All right. Game versus the Leafs. Jeff, you going to make us lose this one? I have no control over this, Adam. 7-3 victory. Over the well, I know you're a big Leafs fan. Oh, yeah, just like you. <laughs> we outshoot them 42-26, so we should put a beat down on them. And it's and they're actually pretty good this year. Yeah. We Okay, look at that. Slaney, four points. Steen, four points. McGillney, two assists. Marchman uh, scores. Marchman gets the first goal, yeah. Power, or, uh, Slaney scores on the power play. Kaminsky, Slaney, Steen, Olofsson. Steen scores shorthanded. Our special teams is doing really well. And Patrick Sundstrom gets hurt because he decided to help his friend Shingo. It's too bad for him. Probably shouldn't be doing that on Christmas Day or around Christmas. Probably not the best time. Yeah, yeah a couple of days off. And... Yeah, I guess so. Need to do something to keep his hands busy. 6-1 victory over, I was going to say Dallas, but that's not correct. That's the Minnesota North Stars. Oh, wow. Look at that. Two goals in under a minute to start the game. That's got to be. Yeah, three goals in the first line in the uh, first period. Yeah. That's pretty good for us there. That chemistry building is, oh, Dave Ellett's a, with a black eye. Come on, Ellett. All right. Oh, that means Gusteros coming in like that. And we'll take Hasek out and put Gihi Bear in for this one. Sim it out, and we get a 4-1 victory over Chicago and former Winnipeg Jet, 
Bob Essenza. Real life. I don't know if he was with us in this game. I think he was. Didn't we uh, move him after we got uh, here originally? Yes, we did. Yeah, and then he was part of the trade for uh, Hasek. No, we never got Hasek. We traded him to... Oh, no, we got him. Yeah, for we, Stanton. We, uh... Paul Stanton. Oh, he had a Buffalo, and then, okay, that's... And then he wound up in Chicago because I got him in the waiver draft. Oh, man. Okay, well, he's not hurt that bad. Hamstring cramp for Alexander Mogilny. Dave Ellett's ready for full contact, but we're going to keep him out for right now. Game versus Boston. And, ooh, we lose to Boston, 5-3. That's disappointing. Cam Neely beats us up. Solani with a couple of goals. But it's not enough. Uh, okay, I was going to check something. I wanted to see how our chemistry is actually going here. So Alexander Mogilny... Why does Alexander Mogilny have really good? Oh, okay, yeah, I guess. Never mind. I was going to say something foolish. Uh, with Arneo? Yep. Howard yeah. Chuck and Steen, he's good with Peter Stastny. Okay, so Solani's slowly getting accustomed. What about Brendan Shanahan? Nope, all still from his former team. Fair enough. All right, player poll results. Jeff, before I click on this, any guesses? Any guesses? Uh, for our guys, um, if it's anybody, it would be Hashik. Best goaltender or hardest goaltender to beat? Could be. Could yeah. be. I could see leadership could be Howard Chuck, but I'm going to guess probably not. Um, will we get any? What do you think? Maybe one. All right. No, we get none. Martin Brodeur is the toughest goalie to beat. Craig Already? Patrick is the... Apparently. Craig Patrick is a coach most people want to play for. I guess Brodeur is already at four stars, and he's only played in six games but this year, but he's got a 934 save percentage. <laughs> As a 19-year-old. Uh, Randy Gregg is the smartest. Kevin Lowe is the most underrated. Pat Falloon is the most overrated. Igor Larionov. Ooh, Pat Falloon is down to two stars. That's rough. Uh, Igor Larionov is the most controversial. Cleanest is Andrew Brickley. Best role model, Steve Eiserman. Fastest is Paul Coffey. Toughest is Mark LaForge. Hardest shot is Al McKinnis. Hard to argue that. And best skater is Wayne Gretzky. Pat Falloon, you forget, he was injured, which is what made him so took his career for a turn. Oh, yeah. off a of barstool? There was a good article on The Athletic about him a while ago. And Six points from Solani. Yeah, one goal, five assists. Nicely done. Yeah, it was, uh, I think the Seattle right around on The Athletic had a conversation with him. It's it's really good read if you haven't read it. Uh, top selling jerseys: Tower Chuck Lafleur, How Olafson, Steen, Ellis ready to go. McGillney can play, but he's yeah he needs some time to get healthy. He's almost up to a point per game now. Development report: Most importantly, Yasunori Iwata improved by two. Uh, Anything else of note? Ooh, Joseph Stumpo with a big one. Up four things. He's up to one star. I don't believe he was at one star. But I could be wrong on that. I don't think so. Let me double check. All right. 
Here's another good one. Hasek is now up to four. Was, one star. was Hasek at four and a half? Because I don't think he was. But I could be wrong. Yeah, he was. Okay. Hasek, Hebert, and McGillney all going up as well. So that's good. Top selling jerseys. None of us, sadly. Jets Hasek was named the best goaltender of the month. Nice. That's what I like to see, gentlemen. All right. We don't really have a need to change our scouting. Our team morale is doing pretty good, so I don't think we need to change that right now with the way we're winning. We good standing pat and continuing to bank points right now? Check where the attendance is at. Only 86% of capacity. Okay, my brain is is half working where you're seeing this number. If you go to uh, uh, league uh, team stats, or league stats, and then uh, beside team stats, it's team attendance. Okay, sorry. League and then go to league. Stats. Stats. No, stats. Stats. Yeah, I know. I know. And then go to team stat or team attendance. Okay. There's a capacity use thing in the uh, right side. Yeah, home average is okay. Home average is only thirteen thousand three hundred forty-six. Also, we upped our ticket prices as high as we could possibly go, so that's not incredibly shocked out. So, are you saying we should maybe put in some game promotions? Yeah, just bump it up a little bit. Okay, we'll go to 3% bonus. Yeah, we've also got the uh, second worst road attendance in the league. I mean, that's Nobody pretty much... <laughs> well, that's because we're not a, been a cup contender. We will become... We will become one of the top teams. Board conference update, we went 10-4-0, so everybody's happy. Mogilny says he's at the ready. Checking our job security here. Everybody's happy. Team chemistry is high. Up to 78 in fan happiness. Apparently Mark Howe got hurt with a viral infection. So we'll take Gusterov out. Put Elliot back in. Howe comes out. And put Gusterov back in. McGillney's only at 70%. Should I give him the... Nah, nah, we'll just keep going. Let's see how it goes. No, oh, 7-4 loss to Boston again. Man. Just can't catch a break against Boston. Oh, no, we lost Guy Lafleur for five days. He had a 15 sit stitches in his face. But the good news is, I guess we hurt Ray Bork for five weeks with a herniated disc in his back. Oh, Guy Lafer can pay, play through his facial cut. That's good. That's good. It's worried. All right. We might actually have to give Mogilny a game off. What's he at here now? 67%. All right, I'm going to take Mogilny out and put Kristovich in for one single game. All right, Kristovich, what do you got for me versus Pittsburgh? Hasek's up to four heat. Let's see. 5-3 victory over the Penguins. Nice. Solani, goal and assist. They score first and second. Peter Stasny scores to guess to two one they go up three one then Stu Barnes Teppo Newman and Tonestein and Tima Solani score all right good job guys Ooh. and we shut off another point streak okay so we're gonna put Mogilny back in Kristovich is coming out 
Put Mogomi back in. He'll get back to being a little more healthy. Do I need to give Guy Lafleur the game off? He's at 62%, I would say, probably. So Lafleur is coming out for a game. Let his face rest, and we're going to put Kristovich back in. And Rangers, 3-3 three, three tie. All right, all right, I can deal with that. Shanahan scores first in the first period. Then Howard checks Solani. We were up 3 nothing and blew it. Okay, that kind of upsets me. All right. Kristovic comes out. And we're going to put Lafleur back in. So Lafleur has 22 points in 42 games. Not as nearly as good as last year, but still producing at not a bad clip. Yep. I mean, considering he would have been retired at this point in real life. Uh, Except for... Uh, okay. Um, Was this the year he got? Yeah, I guess this was the year he got drafted in the expansion draft. He got drafted in the expansion draft. Yes. You sure? Hundred percent sure. You can go look it up. Four-one victory over the Oilers. Oh right, the star, the uh, star thing. Um. Man, seriously? What now? Guy Lafleur got hurt. Now he's sore knee day to day, and then we just lost Dave Ellett for two weeks. And <sighs> Zubov goes back up, and Kristich goes in again. Okay, we're bringing Zubov back. Okay, Zubov is coming in for Ellett straight up. We're going to send Ellett to the injured list to save the spot. Lafleur is getting replaced with Kristovich. who's actually filled in admirably for being in a role kind of above his head, but... Mark Howe is back soon. Also good. I can play if you need me. I'd rather you be 100% before you come back, the way how things are going. All right, game versus Chicago. Putting Hebert again. So he gets another game. Even though Hasek set five heats. And we lose 5-3, unfortunately. Come on. First star is Jeremy Roenick. Ugh. We scored two goals in the first period. Get another one in the second, and we lose it in the third. Mark Howe is officially back, but he's still at 80%, so we're going to leave him. Okay, game versus San Jose. The thing about that Guy Lafleur getting drafted too was it cost Montreal, right? It was mon cost Montreal a pick to get him back, or was it or was it Quebec? Quebec at that point? Because he wanted to work for the organization. And so they had to trade a pick to get his rights back. All right. Here we go. Olofsson to Howard check. Howard check back to Olofsson, and it's in the net. Why Olofsson was all the way down there, I don't know, but all right. Okay, you, you do have to admit it's kind of funny watching this that the San Jose Sharks mascot holds the puck right in the middle of his, perfectly in his mouth, right? Oh, Hasek. Like, it looks like the Sharks just munching on that puck. Oh, man, we're losing? What? Bobby Smith. 
Who's in the San Jose? Huh, that's interesting. What? Uh, Kamensky's name still getting cut off at the beginning. I didn't see it. It was on that last little snippet there. The K is getting cut off. All right, three, two, Slanny. Kristovich passes it off to Shanahan. Shanahan shoots, scores on the power play. 4-2 now. Okay, Stu Barnes isn't sure about his role either, so I'll have to look at that. Shanahan carrying the buck across the blue line. Oh, but gets sent all the way back. Puck shot over the net. Oh, man, our Neil does a wraparound. And scores. 4 3 S. Armor Jet. Oh, no. Oh, Howard Chuck taking the puck across the blue line. Since it's Slanny, Slanny shoots. Save. New face off. Barnes. Kamensky. There's Kamensky right there, Jeff, on the bottom of the screen. Yeah, waiting for it. Oh, yeah, it is. Okay. Hmm. And Newman and his two there, actually. Another goal. Six three. That's a better score. I like that. Seven three Mogilny gets his twelfth of the year. All right, we're just dumping it on now. Team Miscellany with his thirty second of the year. Tepanun grabs his seventh assist. Going for the tenth. Go trying to break double digits. Pat Flatley. What happened there on that goal? Whew. All right. Oh, well, that was only nine. Oh man, my bad. Going for ten now. All right. 10-3 with four seconds left. All right. It's real sports, but like, make sure you get into double digits with fifth, four seconds left. In Absolutely. The game. Just, just grind her down. Grind her down. Solani, very nicely done. Hattrick has him as the number one star. Howard well, check four that, assists. Uh, they've had San Jose's actually won three games now. Oh, nice. Luckily, it's not against us. 51 shots to 13. Gusarov picked up a couple of assists. He's so happy to be in the lineup. All right, game versus Vancouver here. Let's see if Hot Hassock can continue it. And we lose to Vancouver. Jeff. Jeff. Uh, lost to Vancouver. Well, we can't end on that. Oh, here's some important news. One of the new things we added in FHM8, Brian Trottier may retire. He's 35 and thinking he would be done. This is... is he Was he done at this point in real life? He retired for... 
I think it was one year. Wait, yeah, and then came back with Pittsburgh, yeah. I don't know, it wasn't even for all year. He came back with Pittsburgh, uh, I think, partway through the season. Yeah, 91. No, he did retire. 92, 93, he did not play. Oh, after he was with Pittsburgh? Okay, yeah. Yeah, 92, 93, but then came back in 93, 94. But in this one, he hasn't uh, left the Islanders at all, so see how long he lasts. Okay, Guy Lafleur still needs a little more time, so we're not going to rush him back till he's 100% healthy. Okay, he is healthy now, though, so we're going to bring back, take Kristovic out, who played very admirably for Lafleur. Kristovic now has six points in 13 games. Not bad at all, if I do say so myself. Dave Ellett is ready to return soon. Game versus Hartford. Okay, we're going to play this game out too. This is the Shanahan revenge game. Part of the reason I'm playing this out is because I want to see... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love the Whalers mascot. Oh, man. Cracks me up every time. Uh, we're losing one nothing. Instead of eating the puck, the puck becomes his nose <laughs> until he shoots it. I mean, what else are you supposed to do with it? Kylo, get the puck away from him. What are you doing? No, no. Two nothing for them. Those darn whales are everywhere. Olofsson scores from the point to break the shutout, at least. All right, pushing it back in. Shanahan to Slanny. Slanny to Howardchuk. Howardchuk to Shanahan. Back to Howardchuk. Slanny picks it up off the boards. Gets it around. Shanahan scores. All right. Second line comes on. Steen. Bringing it across the blue line. Gets it to Mogilny. Mogilny. Back to Newmanen. Scores. And Newmanen's cut off there too. Pretty bad. All right. 3-2. Oh, not liking this. It's a power play. And it looks like Hartford is tying it up. All right. It is now 3-3. Three, three. Bradshaw. Ties it up. All right, we're pressing. Stasny coughs it up to Francis. This is not good. Solani on defense. Solani's trying to get it, but he doesn't. Francis shoots. Marshall gets a rebound, but it gets to Kevin Deneen. And Hartford takes a 4-3 lead with 30 seconds left in the second period. All right, we're going to play a little bit more pressure. I see what happens. Lafleur to McGinley, Lafleur to McGinley to Stastny. McGinley coming in, looking for. Oh, what? Sent all the way down. Oh no! Did we give up another one? Oh, that's brutal. Five three. Bradshaw scores again. With the net empty. Mogilny pressing. Pressing. He scores! Makes it a one-goal game with under a minute to play. Unfortunately, that's as close as we get it. Oh, 
by four. So close yet so far. All right, Jeff, I think that's going to be a good spot for us to stop for the yeah, evening. Uh, where are you in the standings right now? Just curious. Oh, yeah, you're in first in the division still. We actually slipped down to second here. Just because you said that. Did you? Oh, yeah. Must have. So we are one point behind LA, but they have two games in hand. We currently, Solani sitting in fifth for 33 goals scored on the year. Howard Check is sitting at 75 points for sixth and 48 assists for fifth. Hasek has 22 wins for fourth. Not bad looking at our stats overall. But with that, I guess we'll stop here and say thank you very much for tuning in to another Franchise Hockey Manager stream. We typically stream every Wednesday night at 10 p.m. Eastern on twitch.tv slash Franchise Hockey Manager, as well as twitch.tv slash OOTP Developments. All of our streams are archived on our YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash OOTP Developments as well. You can also reach out to us on our Facebook page, which is facebook.com slash Franchise Hockey Manager. On Twitter, we're at Franchise Hockey, where you can find a link to our official Discord as well in our Twitter bio. And of course, you can come on down to our official website, which is OOTPDevelopments.com. Click on the community button in the top right-hand corner, which will bring you to our official forums, where you can come talk about Franchise Hockey Manager, Adult Park Baseball, Perfect Team, Adult Park Go, or anything else you wish to discuss. Next week, we'll be back with the good, the bad, the ugly, the Vancouver Connects season. And Jeff, uh, you want to tell us about what we'll be expected to do? Yeah, actually, we were like uh, down to about uh, what a month and a half or so left in the season. And we weren't going to the play playoffs. So what I did is just uh, went ahead and played through the rest of the season to get rid of the uh, pointless part and got us up to July 1st. Uh, didn't make a whole lot of uh, changes uh, because we'll just start doing the interesting stuff, uh, free agents and uh, the draft and whatnot uh, when we come back. Expansion? Uh, get, uh, I'll see. And we did get our contract renewed, though, so that's the good news because we were getting a little close to getting fired there, but should be okay for another season or two now. Renewed, huh? Yep. Okay, sure, sure. Sure, sure, sure. All right, so thank you very much for tuning in, and we will see you all again next week.